Lines to Six Foot Three by George Borrow. This is recorded to celebrate the sixth anniversary of LibriVox. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. A lad who twenty tongues can talk and sixty miles a day can walk, drink at a draught a pint of rum, and then be neither sick nor dumb, can tune a song and make a verse and deeds of northern kings rehearse, who never will forsake his friend while he his bony fist can bend, and though averse to brawl and strife will fight a Dutchman with a knife, oh, that is just the lad for me and such is honest six foot three. A braver being ne'er had birth since God first needed man from earth. Oh, I have cause to know him well, as Pharaoh's blackened rocks can tell. Who was it did at Sudero the deed no other dared to do? Who was it when the boff had burst, and whelmed me in its womb accursed, who was it dashed amid the wave with frantic zeal my life to save? Who was it flung the rope to me, oh, who but honest six foot three? Who was it taught my willing tongue the songs that Braga framed and sung? Who was it oped to me the store of dark, unearthly, runic lore? and taught me to beguile my time with Denmark's aged and witching rhyme, to rest in thought in Elvia shades, and hear the song of fairy maids, or climb the top of Dovrefeld, where magic knights their muster held. Who was it did all this for me? Oh, who but honest six foot three? Wherever fate shall bid me roam, far, far from social joy and home, mid burning Afric's desert sands, or wild Kamshatka's frozen lands, bit by the poison-loaded breeze, or blasts which clog with ice the seas, in lowly cot or lordly hall, in beggar's rags or robes of pall, Mong robber bands or honest men, in crowded town or forest den, I never will unmindful be of what I owe to six foot three. That form which moves with giant grace, that wild though not unhandsome face, that voice which sometimes in its tone is softer than the wood dove's moan, at others louder than the storm which beats the side of old Cairngorm. That hand, as white as falling snow, which yet can fell the stoutest foe. And, last of all, that noble heart, which ne'er from honour's path would start, shall never be forgot by me. So farewell, honest six foot three. End of Lines to Six Foot Three by George Borrow. Recording by Ruth Golding.